Welcome to the newsroom. I am Joy Uchejim, and these are the stories we're tracking at the moment. The River State House of Assembly, led by Victor Okojumbo, has called for the local government election scheduled for Saturday to be conducted in adherence with the rule of law and subsisting judgment that enabled the exercise. The Assembly Speaker, Victor Okojumbo, while speaking during plenary, said it aligned with the position of the executive arm of government and governor of River State, Simina Lai Fubara, in ensuring that a proper constitution of duly elected political leadership at the local government level is a reality in the state. And the chairman of the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, ICPC, Adamu Aliu, has announced that over 13 billion naira in diverted public funds was recovered in September 2024. Aliu did not specify the sectors or individuals from whom the funds were recovered, but highlighted that the anti-corruption agency has been working relentlessly to fulfill its mandate. And the United Nations Central Emergency Response Fund, CERF, says it has released U.S. million naira of 5 million to scale up the flood response and address critical needs in three of the most flood-affected states in Nigeria, which are Bornu and Baochi in the northeast and Sokoto in the northwest. CERF made the announcement in a statement and made it available to the media. It said the announcement follows the increasing impact of floods on people's lives, livelihoods and food security across Nigeria at the peak of the rainy season. And Justice Sevano Soriji of the Federal Capital Territory High Court has granted former Governor of Taraba State Darius Ishako bail to the tune of 150 million naira and two shorties in like sum. The two shorties must be residents in the Federal Capital Territory Abuja with their house addresses verified by the registrar of the court. One of them must be a director with the Federal Civil Service, according to the judge. And the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, in Kaduna State has reported a total of 1,045.93 kilograms of various illicit substances seized and 420 suspects arrested for the third quarter of the year. The NDLEA commander in Kaduna, Samalai Damalam, disclosed the operation's outcomes in a statement. The agency's efforts resulted in the confiscation of drugs, including cocaine, cannabis sativa, and other psychotropic substances. And on the foreign scene, Iran resumed flights at its airport on Thursday, according to state media, after a brief suspension following its missile attack on Israel. The Islamic Republic launched 200 missiles at Israel on Tuesday evening, marking its second ever direct attack on its sworn enemy, following a missile and drone attack in April. Both domestic and international flights were grounded for security reasons until 5 a.m. on Thursday. And finally on sports, as the 2024-2025 UEFA Champions League continues to unfold, Match Day 2 brought a flurry of action across Europe, with fixtures played on Tuesday and Wednesday. Now this season marks a significant shift in format, introducing a league phase that sets the stage for an exhilarating competition. With clubs vying for top position and the place in the knockout stages, fans witnessed thrilling matches that highlighted the intensity and unpredictability of European football. And these are the major stories from our newsroom at the moment. We'll update you with more stories at the hour. I'm Joy Ochejin. See you next time.